Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. I'm continuing my makeup tutorial series now and um, I'm having a really good time doing these because um, I really enjoy trying different techniques and really it's, it's almost like going to the gym and pulling your muscles in different directions, right? I'm going to like, I've tried makeup tutorials where I'm using almost like no makeup, like classic tiara and then fully going in with the creams and everything with like my crystal method uh, and Rock'em Sakura tutorials. I think those have been really fun. And today we're going to try to go all red carpet and try a Scott Barnes makeup tutorial plus a fox eye makeup tutorial. So I'm going to look like JLo smashed into Bella Hadid. So if that's something you want to see, stay tuned. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. All right, see you in a bit. I've done all the boring bits off camera, glued down my brows and put my face tapes on. Today we're going for a really sexy fox eye look. I'm gonna follow two videos. One, the first one is the one where Scott Barnes does Tati's makeup and he uses a lot of brushes and creams and I've got some there but I'm also gonna be trying to use Tati's Blenderful to see whether I can get that nice airbrushed look. And then I'm gonna go on to a different fox eye tutorial to try to get that snatched look in the eye. Scott Barnes is basically um, JLo's makeup artist and he's responsible for all her glowy looks and in Hustlers, all her music videos and he, I think he also did the makeup for her for the Super Bowl halftime show. Um, he starts off with actually concealer and just paint it on with a brush. But first I'm going to prime my face. Today I will be using the e.l.f. Paulus Putty. This is supposed to be a good dupe for the um, Tasha primer and I'll be putting that on my Blenderful. I like, use yes, makeup, like I'm like not going to pretend like just drench me. So Scott Barnes was a fine art, he, he was a fine art painter before he became a makeup artist. So the way he paints his strokes are really different from everyone else. And he goes in and things in a different pattern. So let's, let's try to follow him. And he's, first he goes in a concealer. So I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and paint on the same look he's giving Tati right now. Because she goes, look, it's like a cat paw. Oh, so anyway, um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out. Okay, and then he uses this cat paw brush, which I think looks a little bit like this Sephora brush I have, which looks like a cat paw. And I'll be brushing it out the way he does it. Over and I'm gonna be like, how'd he do this? Well, okay. now I have it in action. Yes. So what I do is just this gently, watch, I'm gonna turn your nose just a little bit so that everybody can see this. And I just, and you can do this on yourself, which is very easy, is... Oh, and this brush is actually quite nice. Blend it up this way. So it hits the chin because this makes it come forward. And now he's going into the darker contour and he's using quite a warm shade for the contour and he's using a quite a straight looking brush. So I've got this other um, elf contouring brush that goes right straight across. And I will be using my Tarte in Deep Honey. So okay, load up this brush. <laughs> No, I bought all these brushes and I never use them because I just really, really don't like getting creams all over brushes, but you know. Comfort zone, right? Okay, and I'm gonna do basically this look, goes all the way into the jaw. I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. Oh, you right. named this look? Right. Yeah, it's called Snatural. Snatural. <laughs> he, called this, he called this look Snatural. It's made for me. Wonder Snatural. <laughs> okay, minimizing your forehead. Like the lights hitting right here, so mm -hmm. just taking okay. it down. And then he does this um, really thin nose contour down the nose. So this is the brush I usually use, the Morphe um, 164. And it's actually quite thick compared to what he's doing there. Okay, so I'll be using this flat brush back with a uh, um, tart shaped tape. He draws two very thin lines and a V at the bottom. So I'm start with the V. Fuller lip. It's not overlining it today. And he's gone and done the cheeks too, so with the same brush, looking upwards. I'm gonna use some Chanel on you, right? This technique where he goes in with the light and the dark, right? And then he blends them both together with the mid-tone. It's similar to what um, I usually do for my eyeshadow. Sometimes I do like the dark and light and then blend in between with the color in between and then it gives it a very um, blended look. Okay, so. He contours the lips too. He doesn't like overlining lips. Okay, so using that same little brush, outline my lips with um, concealer. Have to be not afraid to look completely crazy. 
He's using a Chanel mid-tone foundation. Don't have that, so I guess I will be using Christian Dior. Someone gave me this before, it's called Skin Glow. Might as well try it. Someone gave this to me as a gift. And he's using a kind of a flat brush. So I'll be using this EH Cosmetics brush, lightly coating it. And this is flicking motions. Blending the dark into the light. And it's quite cool for it. Use a little bit of lighter foundation because we don't want to take away the contouring. Okay, so instead of just eliminating that lip, we're just patting over it gently. He's pa basically like painting that. over the whole body. I won't be... I think I will blinded. just do the boobs as per usual and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done my um, body and I'm covering my brows with the Christian Dior also and the eyelids. Okay, and he's going in and he's talking about how he prefers creams over powders. Merrily better than powder. Oh, he's using cream blush. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's coming from inside the skin. And we want you to look like a baby. So the only cream blush I have is this milk makeup um, blush. I never really use it because I don't really like cream blushes as well. I guess it's a bit of a comfort thing for me too. So let's just try. So he does this thing where he flicks. You almost like take it. You don't pull so much, but I'll, you do this thing where you like fluff it almost up. Flick it. That works, right? A little bit. Do that sometimes I get blush on my nose. I'm like, dang. And now he's doing actual concealer. Okay, so I'll be using an even whiter concealer. I use my KVD, Vegan Beauty. Just conceal the inner corner, outer corner of the eyes, sides of the nose. And then this. Marrying everybody together. My favorite thing is when you watch newscasters. The nose contour is going to blend that out. I didn't see him do it. And then they blink their eyes and their lids white. Okay, powder. And for powder, he says he's using a translucent powder with a bit of pink. So I've got this um, Morphe brightening pink that I haven't tried yet. So let's just try a little bit of that. Translucent with a tiny tinge of pink in her. And what that does is cancels out any kind of like little bluey, purpley stuff. Okay, and then he uses some sort of an illuminating highlighting powder. Try this illuminating powder by, from LA Girl. So I'll be using this big fan brush the same way he does it. And I think he does this so that it's not too heavy. This, Oh, my fan brush, which is like, hey, big fan. Um, oh my god, I'm so shiny! Wow, and gorgeous, right? The Scott Barnes, you asked about this. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. All right. Now he's bronzing. He's contouring a Look bronzer. It's beveled so that you can work with the curves of this brush. Using beveled brush. I created this so that you guys could. I have this brush I bought from um, BH Cosmetics, really cheap also. Kind of the same, I guess. So let's use this to contour. Today, we'll use um, our contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. He's carving out the hollow of the cheek. Or It's natural. It's natural. And I feel that you're the one that did this multi-layer contour under foundation, do the bronze. So for bronzer today, I'll be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. You work in these very interesting layers. Yes. And the end result is something that is so smooth. Now he's doing eyebrows with some sort of a thing. I'll do my eyebrows off camera. I'll try to do a similar brow to, to Tati. Okay, because um, basically I have to draw mine on. Okay, I've um, put my face tapes on and drawn on my eyebrows. Um, I'm just going to add this drag step. I'm just going to bake a little bit so much it works and that's you know i was talking about this before and to do my eyes i'm not going to follow his tutorial but i want to follow this new fox eye trend and i will be following alexandra and now okay so the fox eye is basically like a cat eye but the cat eye is just the outside but the fox eye is basically extending it into it's an old drag trick but it looks pretty nice so let's see whether i can just follow this tutorial since tati is a uh, star of this video I'm i'll be using her palette the tati beauty palette first. Okay, so I'll be using a uh, nice fluffy brush Basically like this. Basically what I'm going to do is kind of create like a sweeping motion. Okay, so I'll be using, I'm using right Sue. Right the outer light on the crease. I'm kind of defining out. like this area right here. But to kind of like accentuate that, um, I'm going to, do you see how light this area is? And she takes a lighter shade, so I'll be using Aura to snatch. And I'm going to like snatch this area. So I'm picking that up with my Hank and Henry and brush. Now this is a very, use, very A lot of use of the word so snatch in these two videos. Take it 
here. So glad I chose this name. And then using my concealer brush. Okay, brush. so this flat brush using by Morphe, using sponge. the shade Aura, yeah, just to snatch this sponge. Up. I'm just going to blend this. And I'm just following that same line. All right, now for the eyes, I'm gonna pick up coffee beans. I'm gonna focus this on the very tip of the brush. So I'm gonna follow that same shape. She's what drawing the wings. This is like where the end of my eye is. Not at the end so of the eye. So instead of starting there, I'm gonna start a little bit above it. Sketch out. If you go too high, it can end up looking kind of weird. You wanna go high enough that it adds like a little bit more lift to the eye. And then I'm gonna kind of like just fill this area. I'm not even gonna take it halfway. Keeping it like very, very, very close to the lash line. And brings it halfway Starting off into... by just kind of lining the eye, connecting it. And then I'm going to... And she's using a small pencil brush to smoke that out. So I'm going to use a small pencil brush. Okay, she's using a BH, I've got this AOA one. So using the Aura. And I'm going to pick up a uh, Cafe Con Leche. Basically just like buffing it over that to soften it. You can do this as much as you want. Now, for my inner corner, because my inner corner isn't like you so seem angled brush. Like, tight, like a cat eye, let me look at hers. Just imagine that we're creating like a line. You're creating this kind of a line. What I'm gonna do is deepen up this area. Using like ritual right again? Down here. She creates a little... So I'm actually not going to extend that too much because my eyes are quite deep set. So when I do that, it kind of makes them look like very, very close together. Okay, so like right there, just to kind of sharpen that area. And I'm gonna drag it through here. And by adding that dark color right there, you're kind of closing that area, which is gonna make it look a little bit more like foxy. Tiny so blending brush with a light color again. Light shade right so I'm just using a tiny blending, br blending brush. <laughs> blending brush, this is from Morphe. Basically, all along the eye bag. And I wanted to find the crease lift. She's accentuating the crease shade now, so I'm dipping into a bit of soup and ritual. She's basically giving the crease here a little bit of a lift. I just want to accentuate a little bit more because this is my eyes the can look most very natural very look happy. that I know. Alright, so now I'm going to fill my brows and I'm going to be using a pencil for this. Filling in the brows, so I'll fill my brows in too. Alright, now I'm going to apply some blush. I'm going to use the Ciate. Okay, oils. so. This is Seems like she's done. Does it look foxy to you? I'm do the same thing right here on my brow. And then mix highlighting underneath the brow so to give this look. pop here. Okay, it's so aura and sequin. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, since we put the dark color in like this area, I'm gonna highlight just above that. She's using it in the corner. I think that looks quite nice. So I'm gonna skip back to the Scott Barnes nice. tutorial now. All right. Okay, so um. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to mix both techniques in because I need to put on lashes. I'm gonna do a little bit of a liner and I'm going to line my under eye. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit. Oh, we don't ruin it. Oh yes, and of course um, I have to do the nose contour. So I'm just gonna use a bit of soothe and ritual, very lightly contour that nose. So now using the Inglot Coal Pencil in brown, 03. Okay, I'm just gonna line the lower waterline. Going in with that flat brush, with Soothe, just gonna blend that out a little bit. And now going in to intensify the blush, I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics and Tina Young palette. I'm gonna use this very um, coral shade called Crush. Bring some colour back in the cheeks. Same time knocking off some of that bake. And then with the bronzer, this time I'm using the True Bronze by LA Girl to knock off the rest. It brings back some colour to the face because we're supposed to be J-Lo, right? And now for lips. So I'll be using my Gerard Cosmetics pen, uh, lip pencil in Nude, nice and sharp. Line the lips. Overdraw a little bit, okay? Just following the contour that I did earlier. And 
and then with Jeffree Star, um, Androgyny. The contour needs to be more in the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up the contour on the side. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up that contour, pop on some lashes, and I'll be back with the final look. And this is the finished look. I popped them away, popped in some nails, some jewelry, and my JLo dress. All right, so if you like this video and want to see more like it, just like, subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos. And I'm off to Instagram to take some pictures, so follow me there, at Wondersnatch. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Montage time. Thank you.